All right, I wanted to read a fast passage from 2 Ezra uh, chapter 2, kind of the very end of the passage. And uh, you'll see the relevance. I'm just going to start right here. Uh, Abide still, O my people, and take thy rest, for thy quietness shall come. Nourish thy children, O thou good nurse, and establish their feet. As for the servants whom I have given thee, there shall not one of them perish, for I will require them from among thy number. Be not careful over much, for when the day of tribulation and anguish cometh, others shall weep and be sorrowful, but thou shalt be merry and have abundance. The nations shall envy thee, but they shall be able to do nothing against thee, saith the Lord." My hands shall cover thee, so that thy children shall not see hell. Be joyful, O thou mother, with thine children, for I will deliver thee, saith the Lord. Remember thy children that sleep, for I shall bring them out of the secret places of the earth. And show thy mercy unto them, for I am merciful, saith the Lord Almighty. Embrace thy children until I come. And proclaim mercy unto them, for my wells run over, and my grace shall not fail. I, Ezra, received the charge from the Lord upon the Mount Horeb, that I should go unto Israel. But when I came unto them, they would none of me, and rejected the commandment of the Lord. And therefore I say unto you, O ye nations that hear and understand, look for your shepherd, he shall give you everlasting rest, for he is nigh at hand, that shall come in the end of the world. Be ready to the rewards of the kingdom, for the everlasting light shall shine upon you forevermore. Flee from the shadow of this world, receive the joyfulness of your glory. I call to witness my Savior openly. O receive that which is given you of the Lord, and be joyful. Be joyful, giving thanks unto him that hath called you to heavenly kingdoms. Arise up and stand, and behold the number of those that be sealed in the feast of the Lord. They that withdrew them from the shadow of the world have received glorious garments of the Lord. Look upon thy number, O Zion, and make up the reckoning, reckoning of those of thine that are clothed in white which have fulfilled the law of the Lord. The number of thy children whom thou longest for is fulfilled. Beseech the power of the Lord that thy people, which have been called from the beginning, may be hallowed. I, Esdras, saw upon Mount Zion a great multitude whom I could not number, and they that praise the Lord with songs. And in the midst of them there was a young man in high stature, of a high stature, taller than all the rest. And upon every one of their heads he set crowns, and was more exalted. Whereat I marveled greatly. So I asked the angel and said, What are these, my lord? He answered and said unto me, said unto me These are they that have put off mortal clothing and have put on the immortal i have confessed and sorry and have confessed the name of god now they are crowned and receive palms then i said unto the angel what young man is he that setteth crowns upon them and giveth them palms in their hands so he answered and said unto me it is the son of god whom they have confessed in the world. Then began I greatly to commend them that stood so stiffly for the name of the Lord. Then the angel said unto me, Go thy way and tell my people what manner of things and how great wonders of the Lord thou hast seen. It really doesn't get much clearer. Uh, tribulation's either here or it's coming. 
and all we're really here for is to profess and like it says here have confessed the name of God the son of God who offers salvation that's what we're here to do we're here to believe on him and uh, with that we'll have eternal life it's so easy so simple the simplicity that's in Christ I don't know why people stumble on it but it's it's going to come. It's going to come fast. People need to be uh, be ready. That's all I got for tonight. Second Ezra chapter 2, the very end. That's it.